hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how to uh, connect your database with q table view so in the last video i have shown you when i click this load table button it loads your uh, data in the database in this table view so i have some data in my database and which i wanted to show you show uh, in this uh, table view and this i have shown in the last video in this video i will show you how to connect a list box with your database so this is a table and for example i want to list out all the names in the database in a list box so how can i do this i will show you in this video so let's get started let me make room for uh, the list box so i make this table view little bit smaller and i will go to this item views and i will go to this model based item views and i will take a list view from here and i will drag and drop here and i will just resize a little and i want to uh, load the list of all name which is there in the database in this list box and for example by clicking this button itself in the last video i have used this button to load the table this time i will load list view with this button so let me change the title or text of this button instead of load table this time i will write load list and this i have done because i'm going to use most of the code from the last video so if you haven't seen my last video just go and watch it and then you will be able to understand what i'm doing here also so i will right click my button and go to slot click and click ok and in here in the last video i have written this code so first of all i have made a login class object this i have explained you why i am using this login object because i have connection with the database connection open and connection close function in this login class and i want to use them so that's why i created the object then i created a qsql model and model object and then i opened a connection with the database so i write con which is my login class object dot i called the function connection open with the database then i made a query object so i write qsql query and give it a query uh, object is equal to new sql query and i connect i use my already connected database which is my db and then i prepared a query so i just copied and pasted this query object here and i prepared a query and i passed this uh, uh, sqlite query here this we are going to change in this video so because a list can have only one column that's why we are going to change this uh, query a little so for example in this video we want to um, uh, load the list of all names so instead of using select employee id name and surname we will just write select name from your table name right and then i execute a query and then i set this query into the, my model object so i execute the query and load all the data in a query and then transfer it to the model and this model we have transferred in the last video to the table view but in this video we are using list view so i will go to my forms once again and i will select my list view 
I'll copy the name of my list view. Once again, go to slot, click, and instead of this UI the pointer or arrow pointer table view, I will replace this table view by a list view. So two changes I have made in this uh, last code. First of all, because we are using only one column and list view can have only one column. That's why we have selected only one column from database. And then we have set the model to the list view. And once your data is loaded in the list view, I am closing the connection. And if any error, I am showing here. Let's try and run the program first and build and run and login an ID and when I click this uh, load list my list of all names which is there in the database this Mark John Peter Julie so in the same way Mark John Peter Julie and other names are listed and in the same way you can load any column for example EID or surname you can load or any column which is there in the uh, in the table or database table you can load it here okay so uh, I think you uh, understand what I have done here and you will use it in your project somewhere and keep watching these videos and keep subscribing liking these videos and bye